Hi there, all you Song Surgeon fans out there. Jim asked me to do a brief recording showing how I use Song Surgeon with my banjo students. So just to get started, I'm going to show you a really important feature. There's a million really good features in Song Surgeon, but these are some of the big ones I use. Uh, a lot of times I can't find a recording except on the internet, so I use this record feature and it allows you to record either internally with different recording devices or so here are the recording devices um, or you can use internal sound I've been using a microphone externally um, and that's worked very well for me um, I'll give you a, a chance to hear what this sounds like here it is Just a recording with a microphone in front of a speaker. So that's pretty, not bad. So, uh, so that's the first thing. Now that song you heard was Blue Ridge Cabin Home, and I recorded that. So another feature that I find very helpful is using the EQ or equalizer feature. That allows you to pull out the sound that you're trying to learn, which in this case is the banjo. So if I go to the EQ, this gives me the normal sound as it's all in blue. And as you can see, there are preset EQs here. If I turn these on, it changes the sound. You hear that? Now that's banjo plus. This is banjo minus. So it's kind of taking the banjo out of the mix. I can also go to some other sounds, and what I found was this sound really gets the trumpet. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. Here's what it sounds like with trumpet setting versus normally feel. So it's a little twangier, a little brighter, easier to decode. So what I would suggest is just playing around with those settings to find which one is going to be best for you to pull out the sound. Of course, the loop feature is the one that everybody likes to use the most. And I'm going to show you the, the speed trainer because that's one that banjo players are always looking to incorporate into their practice. I'm not going to go into setting up loops, but I've already set one up here. It's called loop one and it runs about five seconds. And the way that you set up the speed trainer is to go down to the loop and click on this loop feature. Right now it's off. I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna edit the looping feature. And this brings up the speed training window. The speed training window allows you to set an initial tempo down here and an ending tempo here. It also allows you to set how much change there will be and whether or not you want to bypass the speed trainer or not. So we're going to leave the speed trainer on. We're going to do five loops on this. So that's all good. And now I'm just going to start the loop and you'll hear how this works. Here we go. You'll notice it's pretty slow, but workable. up to 60 percent and then it's going to go to 70 percent and so forth so I'm going to grab my banjo right now and I'm going to I'm going to play along with this I'm going to set it back to 50 okay let's try this again we're going to use live sound in the room See if we can get the balance somewhat right so you can hear what's going on. And I'm looping starting at 50%.
So you can see that that speed gets pretty fast <laughs> as it moves up to the high speed and so people learning songs need to be able to play along at a slower pace. So it's really nice for even working with the whole song and doing backup at a slower tempo and then increasing your speed. And it's always fun to play along with another band at a speed you can manage. So, so there was one other feature I wanted to mention that has to do with adjusting the pitch of your banjo to the song and that's here in this pitch key pitch thing and it allows you to actually fine tune the pitch or to do major steps. So for example if you wanted to play just in the key of G you can go up here and you can just click down and it goes to the key of A, key A flat, G. And if you notice the chord sniffers also change so that's another great feature is being able to see those chords and know when they change. Um, so those are a few of the features that I found really useful in helping my students learn songs and master the banjo. Of course there are other features that are located in the help file and the tutorials are excellent. So good luck with Song Surgeon and uh, have a great day.